Hello everyone, it's Anzu and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my updated foundation routine, but please keep it in mind that this is not a natural makeup look that I wear outside when I wanna wear less makeup. This is only a base makeup that I apply before I do the rest of my makeup. With that in mind, let's start. I usually start by shaving off my eyebrows at the parts that I've already shaved. The reason I shave off my eyebrows is that I like to draw different kind of shapes, I like to experiment with makeup, and to be frank, I really like short eyebrows and I'm quite happy with them. As for its story that how I got here, I started plucking my eyebrows by myself and I had a really bad accident. They were really thin but they were still quite long and it looked really bad. So I kind of learned by messing them up over and over but I like them now. I'm really lazy when it comes to skincare so I usually try to use this peeling pad before my makeup but I use it 3 times a week at most because it's a peeling pad. Still, it doesn't have a rough side to the cotton pad, it's just a normal regular cotton pad. So it is very gentle on my skin and if you have sensitive skin as well, I would recommend this product to you. Now I'll start moisturizing my face. I'll start by the eye cream so it can start getting absorbed easily. This tube is a little bit harder to squeeze so I have to directly squeeze it on my skin with both of my hands. I'm using my ring fingers to spread the cream because it's more gentle on the skin and I already have genetically wrinkly eye bags and I don't want to make them worse. Now I'm moving on to the main moisturizer. Right now I'm using Vitamin 75 Maximizing Cream. I used to use uh, Ceramidin from Dr. Jart but my skin got its moisture back so I switched to this cream. And one other reason is that this one is cheaper than Ceramidin here so what can I do? I want my skin to absorb the cream faster and better so after I spread it evenly, I will gently pat onto my face. After this, I'm gonna be using a base, though I usually skip this step. This time, I'm using the Professional from Benefit. This is a really good product when it comes to pores and fine lines, and as someone with genetic wrinkles around her eyes, this is a lifesaver for me. When I want better coverage, I go for foundations and as a foundation, I've been using Revlon's foundation in 110. I'm gonna be applying it with a flat brush as a first layer. After the first layer, I'm gonna get MAC's Prep and Prime Spray to wet my beauty blender and I'm gonna go over the foundation without applying any extra foundation on first. This will get rid of the brush lines and lock the foundation on your skin. This foundation routine takes longer than the BB cream bases I've been doing in my tutorials. That's why I only go for this when I want more coverage or when I want this base to last longer. After the locking step is done, I usually go one or two more layers depending on how much coverage I want and afterwards I repeat the same step with the beauty blender until I'm satisfied with the result. One step I forgot to do when I was moisturizing is this lip oil. I always use this because it plumps up my lips without irritating them and I have a case of really chapped lips and this one hydrates just fine. 
For my concealer, I go for a shade lighter than my foundation to highlight the places I want. I usually go for a triangular shape under my eyes. And I also use it on the other desired areas such as my nose and my chin to highlight them better. One problem I face with concealers is that it tends to crease on my under eye area so to avoid that I like to set the concealer on these areas with a transparent powder. I like to avoid the other areas of my face when I'm using powder because I just don't want the super matte and crusty look. I don't really know how to say it. It doesn't exactly look crusty but it looks too matte in my opinion. So I only use it on the desired areas that tend to crease or fade away. After the base makeup is done, I wipe off the lip oil so I can work with the lipstick later on. And with this, my base makeup is done. I hope this cleared some questions about basics of foundation for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write them in the comments below. I'll try to reply to everything. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so you won't miss my makeup tutorial this weekend. Then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!